Hi, my name is Robert Steltman. Today I'm going to show you a couple of tools for putting uh, pipes and in other information on profiles. The first thing we're going to do is go into Row Tools, Profile Tools, create multiple profiles. We're going to have it select all of our alignments. We're going to tell it to query the original ground surface. And here's some styles that we're going to create. It asks us for a starting point for uh, Road 1 and then a starting point for Road 2. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into pipe tools and we're going to put a water main on. We're going to uh, take a polyline and plan and we're going to put it onto our profile. The pipe size is 150 millimeters which is about 6 inches and it's going to be 1.7 meters deep which is about 5 feet. We're going to tell it to ignore vertical curves. We select our profile that we want to offset and there's our pipe. Next we're going to, oh, we'll also look at the polyline that it has created which represents the water main in the profile. Next we want to place all of the crossings on our profile. Well, first we're going to have it show all of our pipe interferences. So we go pipe interference, we're going to have it put a detail block and the minimum clearance is going to be one. If it uh, is less than one it will flag it for us. So we just go OK and we're going to tell it we want to have this network is a storm, this work is network is a sanitary. We go OK and it creates a for each crossing it will tell us the p top pipe, the bottom pipe and the clear. Finally we're going to plot the utilities onto the profile and we're going to select our profile. It's going to put the depth on as well. So here's our finished ground profile. We're going to tell it start at the beginning of the road, end of the road. Um, it, the uh, pipe or utility has to have a minimum elevation of one. We're going to include the depth and this is the layer it's going to put it on. And what it's done is it's drawn an ellipse for each crossing pipe, the uh, correct pipe size. And it's also created a label showing the station, uh, the elevation, the station, the description of the pipe, and the depth to the uh, profile. Just another example of how Steltman software can make you much more productive.